Hello, welcome to Star Wars Spelt Out. I'm your host, Josh Chapman, and today I've got some more figures to go through. Uh, got a combo of an eBay order, something pretty special, pretty good, and a combo of stuff that I've just found at my parents' house, plus a few things I had lying around, so just sort of where I, what I already had. Got a few questions about that as well, people actually asking questions, so I thought I'd go through those, sort of starting off, so it won't be as long as the other ones. There's another eBay order that's coming soon, and then that's almost like, there's not many left to go after that, not many left at all. I would have had one more, but got pipped at that yesterday, that's another story. Uh, um, someone, you know who you are, but um, I'll just check that the uh, the camera under here is going. Let's just put it up. Oh, yeah, there's Daddy Pig. He's there again, the star, real star of the show. Um, so these are the ones that I had at my parents' house. So these are my OGs, uh, original ones I had growing up. There were some more. I don't know where they've gone, but these are the ones that I've got, and plus a couple of other little things in there as well. So I'll just go through. We'll just start off with what I've had. I'll start off with, I think, is my oldest, oldest figure which is Darth Vader himself. Oops, there he is. I remember getting that in prep, which is the first year of school, if anybody's outside Australia. I think it was like a prep sleepover or some sort of thing that we were at the school late at night and I got given this. I don't know whether because I didn't want to stay over or whether I just was a gift or something. And that would have been 82, 83, so it probably would have been a Return of the Jedi card back. I don't think it was a 70, a 12 card back or anything that old. I can't quite see the... It does have 77 on the legs, though, so who knows? Maybe they're all just 77. I don't know. But, I mean, he's got no saber. He's got no cloak. It's not that hard to get cloaks and sabers for these, and I probably could have got one, but I had to... You know, you've got to keep your originals. You've got to keep your OGs. So we'll move Daddy Pig out of the way there. We'll pop him down. There he is, original and the best. We'll just burn through these. I got this, it's a uh, low gray, medicine man. Ooh, no headdress, no nothing again. He's one of our originals. Lived in the bathroom at my parents' house for a really long time. They had a pot plant in there and he was standing in the bottom of the pot plant that was in the bathroom for ages. I think there's a Godzilla in there as well. Sometimes you'd go in there and he was inside the Godzilla's mouth for shits and giggles or whatever it was, but there he is. Again, he's got nothing with him. I'll tr it's pretty easy to get the headdress and stuff for him. I'll just get it when I can get it. You want to look after your, your original friends on there. This isn't really an original friend, but he is an original nonetheless. That guy, Bib Fortuna. Not much to say about him. Pretty common figure. It's looking all right. Got a bit of wear, but... Uh, not too bad. Hasn't got his cloak or his staff. Again, cloak's pretty easy to come by. I'll probably get that. These are all, as you can see, those are all pretty late stage. <clears throat> late Return of the Jedi. Easy to find ones that were probably cheap. I probably got them from the supermarket or the toy store or something for $2 when they were clearing out. And that's probably when we got when we got the, the bulk of all of them. So you can sit there, Dawana Wanga. What else have we got here? Uh, B-Wing Pilot. In, in pretty good condition actually a little bit aware nothing out of the ordinary again late return of the jedi the original yep he was just sitting on the shelf at mum and dad's he can go there princess leia in arguably hoth gear but can't see it no it was just what she was wearing when they were doing the plan before on the Mon Cal ship, and that was a clothes she had underneath. So she just put the poncho on her on the clothes. She didn't change clothes. I'd have to check, I'd have to check the game tape on that one. But again, you can kind of get the helmet and the poncho stuff reasonably common. See a lot of card backs for her for sale. So I think she was a bit of a peg warmer back in the day. But here she is in pretty good condition. We'll just pop her up there. Not too many to go here. We'll just sort of burn through. No numb. He's looking. A bit loose. Again, he's just got a stand. He's got a bit of wear on the back. Still not looking too bad. Again, I'd rather have the originals. So I'll pop him there. And then these two are not... These aren't my originals. I'll do the last one last, which is an original. But this is Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker, the one I always wanted. This was given to me by friend of the show, Heath Shemersky, who's been a guest on the podcast a couple of times. 
and he had an amazing collection. He came over to do the podcast and he brought a whole bag of stuff and he had lots and lots of things and he gave me a look out of there, whether it was a surplus look or it was his look. He, so he's been up on the shelf on my little look collection for a while. So there he is, no cloak, no sabre. Probably track it down. Look, it's not in the best nick, but it's the story that counts. It's, you know, when someone gifts you something, it becomes more special than that. So that's why he'll always have a, a spot on the rack, so to speak. And then this one is actually one that I bought in December that kind of kicked everything off. So it's a Last 17 indoor look, no poncho, just him with his hat on. It's weird that Leia didn't have an attached hat and Luke had an attached hat. I guess if you had a detached hat on Luke, he would have just been the other Luke, arguably. So they've just done it like that. So there he is. I bought that at Christmas time from a bloke on Marketplace because I wanted one because I've got a Luke shelf of stuff return the jedi luke and yeah that kind of kicked it off and then i went oh, let me get another one there get another one and here we are like it's just <sighs> escalated into this and then you're talking on a camera to youtube and people are looking at it and telling you you're spending too much money and you know what you're not wrong so i'll just pop him there i'll move these in a second and then the last one from one that we had growing up was this guy the real deal and there it is Whoop. a pop-up r2 the saber a long gone who knows where it is he's in pretty good condition he's got a little bit of wear and tear but considering he's been sitting at my parents house for 30 odd years and for most of the time not really aware of what what we had we knew we had an r2 we didn't really pay too much attention to what he was but he yeah, he was from a show bag. So the famous story is a lot of the last 17 rare figures ended up surplus in Australia and they ended up in show bags. If you don't know what a show is, it's like a state fair and they have these things called show bags where you can buy like the Barbie show bag or the Bluey show bag and it has a bunch of branded crap in there that you get and you get all these things. And they had a Star Wars one and inside the Star Wars one was just a, a bunch of Star Wars figures. And he was one of them that was in there and there was definitely an imperial dignitary as well and i don't know where it's gone i thought it was just at mum and dad's place i checked with my brother he doesn't seem to know where it is either so maybe somebody came around and just said oh i'll have that and they knew i guess who would do that who's looking for toys apart from me at my parents house but anyway a pop-up r2 so i'm very glad i didn't have to pay for that one that makes it a little bit easier i didn't check if his head still turns does it still kind of do it here with it it does turn, doesn't click anymore though. God, I'm worried it's just going to fall off. I'm not going to get to. I seem to remember we stuck a toothpick or something down there as a kid, which would probably drive people insane if we hear about that. But so they're the ones that I had. I managed to salvage from mum and dad's, which is good. So I had marked them off early so I didn't get any doubles of those. So the only other thing I've got here is this, which came in the mail the other day from, I'm not going to say his name. Al Burke, I'm just trying to remember who it was, but I'm pretty sure it was a Facebook group. I think it was the Vintage Facebook group, which is really good. Um, you get good deals on there. Everybody's really encouraging, looks after everybody. No one's really trying to screw anybody. And this one came up and I sort of decided to bite the bullet because the price was really good. So I'm just going to open this up live now. Of course, it's going to see me struggling with the scissors, trying not to cut anything. I haven't seen if this has been packed, how this has been packed, but again, everybody on these groups packs everything really well, so I'm not expecting any issues with packing stuff. Oh, I'll probably trash the box now. Oh, look at that. Look at all the look at all the bubble wrap. It's just the people. They, the people care. Get people who care on these things. And, oh, God. I'm going to try not to... Oh, it's a bit stuck to the box. I don't want to yank it too hard in case I tear it. Just slowly ease that out. Okay, Oop. Oh, and one's fallen on the ground. Well done. Um, although it's the one that, if any of them is gonna fall on the ground, at least it's this one. So let's just get him there. It is the bad motivator himself, the R5D4, which I did not have, and he's in good condition. The sticker's nice. He's nice and white. I got a good deal. I got sort of got a good package deal for the three of these. Again, I'm not talking prices, but I'll tell you if it's a good deal, tell if it's a bad deal, if it's a bad deal, usually don't even do it so you wouldn't even know about it but um shout out to the bad motivators podcast r.i.p go back and listen to the archives of um luke dallas and eric my good buddies 
yeah, he's looking good. We'll just move, we'll move those other guys out of the way, and we'll pop him there. There's the focus, and working through. Oh wow, that's really tall. That okay. In the next one, we've got about the baddest bounty hunter in the galaxy himself, Boba Fett. There he is. And he's got his blaster, which I was very happy to get the blaster. Um, not looking to necessarily get the weapons, but it came with it and it was a really good price as well. Uh, I had a Boba Fett. I don't know where he's gone. I don't know if it was a mail away. We did get a couple of mail aways back in the day and I, maybe it was, but it wasn't like it. We didn't keep the box, didn't keep the thing. It was all ripped up and gone. So I don't know where the Boba, my old Boba Fett's gone, but I've got one there. He's looking pretty good. He's got a bit of wear, but whatever. He was... Um, he can sit there as well. And then finally, one that I was been chasing for a while. And there'll be some differing opinions on this, I'm sure. But it is the... E5, is it EVD4, EVD4, it's that stupid droid that wants to torture people. How many languages do you speak? And as you can tell, he's missing an arm. Look at that, which it was quite common that they would lose their limbs. So it was cheap. It was almost a third of what one without a, a full one was, which... When he's sitting over on the fence, I think it's a lady, it's supposed to be a she too. So when she's sitting over on the fence, so on the fence, on the shelf, from a distance, I'll just put her at the back. You won't even be able to tell, but maybe I'll get an arm one day. Don't really want to get a repro arm, but we'll see. But it's quite, it's a really freakishly tall figure, actually. I thought for a second, oh, maybe someone snuck a power of the force in there or something along those lines, but no, there it is. Again, pretty good, pretty happy with that especially for the price that I got. I keep banging on about the price, but yeah, I know my Meta Man actually, its arm fell off and I've got the arm, but this one doesn't have an arm. Anybody got a spare arm <laughs> lying around for whatever reason? I don't know why you would. Um, let me know and I'll get, I'll, um, I'll take it off your hands, but that's it on those. So just a small one this week. There's another order coming. Should be here by next week. Really nothing spectacular, just fill in the gaps on stuff really. And then there's oh, there's not many left to go. I think there's only like nine or ten to go after that order, and then we're getting into like your, your yuck faces and stuff like that. So stuff might slow down pretty quick. <laughs> there might not be any action for a while. But I thought I'd I'd log this. It's in there. So thanks everybody for watching. Um, if you listen to the podcast as well, I had the awesome Hawes Burkhart from Blue Harvest Pod, who ever like the best Star Wars podcast going around. I think bar none. He guessed it on the show. We had a great chat old friend old buddy Hawes it was really good to chat to him so by all means have a listen to that and um, yeah we'll see you see you later on see you later on thanks for thanks for watching